Indie Book Nerds, it's June! I didn't do finger guns this time, you're welcome. Hmm, what should I start with this month? Let's go with the new releases. There weren't as many in June as there were in May. We all died under our book pile in May. And now we're sort of like clawing our way out and like finding out what oh, there's like more new releases because they're June releases. So here's what's new from Harper in June. Unplugged by Donna Freitas. Um, I should probably unplug more often, but I'm addicted to the internet, so I will not be unplugging. Red Velvet Crush. We Were Never Here. I Was Never Here. How It Feels to Fly. And this book cover wins um, cover that makes me happiest because it's got really cute balloons and there's like a lake and a cute girl and it just... I don't know, there's just something really happy about this cover that I really like. What Happens Now by Jennifer Castle. If you haven't read any of Jennifer Castle's books, you should definitely check her out. I'm a big fan of hers. And I really like this cover too, because if you look, they're actually just like little claymation figurines, which is pretty cool. Not something you see very often in YA. Change Places With Me, Change Insides. Do you see that? <laughs> Escape From Asylum. These covers are so freaky. Like just so, so freaky. Mm just gonna like put it over there. I just don't like things that scare me very much. I get scared so easily. Autofocus, which is about cameras and photography. So, you know, I'm kind of into that. My Lady Jane. Aww. We'll talk about that one later. United is One by Pitticus Lore. Have you guys stuck with this series? What are we, seven books in now? Are you still into this series? It's here. Ivory and Bone, which is a prehistoric romance. Love in the time of woolly mammoths. Also on sale this month is The Marked Girl. And if you guys haven't checked out the book trailer for this, Booksplosion made an awesome trailer, a live action trailer. They're all in it. You should definitely check that one out. Okay, so that's all that's new from Harper this month. In summation, here are all the new things. I'm just gonna like... <laughs> and now it's time for me to tell you about all of the things that I read this month, which wasn't that many because... I have a hard time reading in the summer because there's like sunshine and ice cream. So I only read like a couple of books this month. Anyway, here's what I read. I read My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. I know it was on our poll voting for last month, but I actually just went ahead and decided to read both of them because eh, why not? So I read My Lady Jane and it is hilarious. This book is so funny and I don't know anything about Tudor history because I did not pay attention in high school classes. Uh, so this was like a really fun way for me to learn about the Tudor history, you know, except with like shape-shifting and stuff. So, you know, it, it's like history, but like not history. I like, don't really know how to, I'm really bad at explaining books. If you haven't noticed, if you haven't watched any of these, I am terrible at explaining the plot of things because I'm just like, I, it's, it was animals. Fun. Good, I read book. And there's some deckled edges, very swanky. Now the best part about this book, besides the book itself, is the dedication, which I'm going to read to you. <clears throat> there we go, that way you can see the cover. <laughs> Marketing. For everyone who knows, there was enough room for Leonardo DiCaprio on that door. That's the first dedication. Second dedication, and for England. We're really sorry for what we're about to do to your history. I love that. Anyway, book's really funny. You guys should definitely check it out. These authors are fantastic. They're so fun and cute. Follow them on Instagram and Twitter, Lady Janies. That's their handle. Get on it. I also read Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. Um, I actually... This one's been on my shelf for a while, but I picked it up on a whim because I was just like feeling one of those days where I was just like, mm, I don't like anything. And so I just like picked it up and I was like, I'm gonna give it exactly one page to hook me. And so I picked it up and read exactly one page and then sat down and read the rest of the book because it was that good. Uh, this book is really, really good. And I'm very excited to read Nicola Yoon's next book because if it is as good as this one, then I feel like she's gonna, get elevated into like my favorite author's shelf because this was just like very well written, very creative. It's got all these like cool chapters that are like not chapters. There's like arts and drawings and there's charts and there's just like a lot of really interesting stuff happening in this book. And it's a really quick read, very, very fast. So if you're looking for something that's like a palate cleanser that just 
you just need to get through something good because you're in a bit of a reading slump, I would definitely check this one out. Plus, the cover is gorgeous. Let's talk about A Court of Mist and Fury. A Court of Fist and Mary. <laughs> um, this book is a doorstopper. It's like, full disclosure, I'm actually not finished with this book yet because I don't know if you've noticed, but it's like a million pages long. It's really long and I am a slow reader and I didn't really, I started reading this like a couple of days ago and I was like, oh, I'll be done in time for my book haul video. No. Can we talk about page 22? I'm embarrassed to talk about it. I wasn't really expecting a sexy scene to happen that early on in a book. And I was just like casually reading it on the subway because, you know, I just got the book and I was like, all right, I'm going to start reading it. I'm going to start reading it on the subway. Lo and behold, I turned page 22 when I'm on the subway in public in front of people and things start going down and my face starts heating up and I'm starting to sweat in my pits a little bit because it's really hot and I'm just like, oh, dang, like, oh, dang, dang, girl, like, whoa. <laughs> if you have not read this book, and if you have not read page 22, just, just go ahead and do that right now. And then let's talk about that right now. The last book that I read this month was an adult novel, and it was Eligible by Curtis Sittenfeld, which I had picked up because I read Prep like so long ago, like a million years ago, more like 10 years ago. But anyway, I read Prep a long time ago, and I loved it. And I was really excited to read that Curtis Sinfeld was writing a Pride and Prejudice retelling set in my hometown of Ohio, which is pretty cool. So, you know, I'm like flipping through it and I'm reading it and it's all modern, it's present day, and it's very, like, very, she did a very good job of modernizing this story. Um, but it was like a little bit weird reading this because um, the house that they live on or the street that they live on, the Bennetts, where the Bennetts live, um, I grew up on that street and the high school that her that Lizzie's sisters go to, um, the high school that I went to and the characters like Chip Bingley and his sister, um, they're all named after people that I am friends with. So that was unusual. I wasn't quite expecting my entire life to be in a novel, but it is. Um, fun fact, I actually went to high school with Curtis Sittenfeld's brother, P.G. Sittenfeld. Shout out, P.G. What up? Shout out, Curtis. Hello. Um, so, yeah, it's weird to read about, like, your life in a story, um, even though I'm definitely not Elizabeth Bennet, but I'm just going to choose to believe that I kind of am Elizabeth Bennet because, like, Mr. Darcy had it. Um, anyway, great book. If you guys are totally in the mood for a Pride and Prejudice retelling, definitely check this one out. I'm a big fan of it, and not just because it's basically my life. <laughs> oh, let's undress it, shall we? Oh, mm, nothing on the cover. I like it when they put things on the covers, or like end papers, or anything. Just give me a little surprise. And now it's time for me to brag about all of the books I got for free. This month I got Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve. I'm gonna butcher that last name, so I'm just gonna stop right there. Anyway, Wink Poppy Midnight, gorgeous cover, obsessed with this cover, have no idea what this book is about. So if you've read it, tell me what it's about in the comments below. Should I read it? I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards yes, just based on the cover, but I don't know what it's about. So someone tell me what it's about so I don't have to Goodreads it myself. Also got Black River Falls by Jeff Hirsch. Ooh, got an advanced copy of Labyrinth Lost. Digging this cover, haven't seen any sort of YA cover that looks like this, like the Day of the Dead action going on down there. Loving it. The Catalyst, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I never read those things. Speed of Life by J.M. Kelly, also, an advanced copy. So that's all I got. Not that many books. I feel like it's a slow time for publishers, you know, because everybody's like, it's summer, let's go like twirl in some flowers. I don't know. Now it's time for you to tell me what should I read next month? So your two options are very opposite ends of the spectrum. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Haven't actually read any Morgan Matson books and I'm really excited to get my hands on this gorgeous copy because there's dogs on the cover. <laughs> I really love doggies and I will literally read anything with dogs on the cover. And there's dogs on the back too. <sighs> if I had to take one of them home with me, I'd probably take all of them. So do I read The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson or 
Truth Witch by Susan Denard. I know a lot of you like Truth Witch, so if you want me to read it, vote in the poll up here. <laughs> I got it on the right side. I get really excited when I do that correctly. Um, anyway, so do I read Truth Witch or The Unexpected Everything? You guys decide and tell me in the comments below. And just tell me what are you guys reading? How many books are you planning to read this summer? Do you like set a goal for your TBR or are you just like, eh, whatever I get to? Or do you have like rules where it's like, oh, I'm only gonna read paperbacks or oh, I'm only gonna read graphic novels or something. I was thinking the other day in my apartment, I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna buy another book until I read all of the books on my shelf that I haven't read yet. And then the next day I bought new books, so that lasted not very long, but it was a nice thought. And now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should do something like that. Like set a rule and be like, I'm gonna only read this or I'm gonna like do that. I don't know. Is that something you guys do in the summer reading? Tell me in the comments below. Let's chat it out. Let's do a little book shimmy. And you know, subscribe and like share this video and like send it to all your like book loving friends who like might like it. Cause that'd be cool. Let's, let's make new friends.